Hi, this is Alvin Alexander with devdaily.com and this is an introduction to my Cato CRUD generator tool. Cato is a simple PHP application, so once you've downloaded it and installed it into an Apache subdirectory, all you have to do to get it to run is to edit the Cato database configuration file. This is all you need to do to hook up to the database. It's the usual information, um, hooking up to a MySQL database, username and password are root, it's on the local host, and the database name is Drupal 7. So once we told Cato how to hook up to a database, all we have to do is move over to the browser and go to the, your Cato URL. Cato will automatically list these tables over here in the first column. I'm going to choose the node table in this database because I know that's one of the larger tables. And I'm just going to choose the node ID field at first. I'm going to choose this template called Java model, then press generate code. When I do that, you see it creates a class named node, N-O-D-E, and it has just the one field in it named NID that I selected over here, and then it has the getter and setter methods for that node ID. It's generated this code based on this template, but it's only generating one field because that's all I've chosen over here. Now if I select all these fields and press generate code again, you'll see now it's generated all the fields from the table, and it has the right data type for each field. To generate a different type of source code file here, all I have to do is choose another template over here. In this case, I'm going to choose one of the JSP files I have. I will press generate code. You see we get a whole bunch of new code over here in this area. And rather than scroll through all that code, which is all uh, JSP and HTML code, I'm going to copy all that and then take you over to this uh, CMonkey editor. I'll paste the code in here. And then when we look at it in the preview, you can see this would be a JSP form generated off that same database table that I created the model class from. As mentioned, Cato works off of these templates over here, so not only can it create Java code, it can also create PHP code, Drupal code, XML files, etc. And I'm just going to show two more uh, simple Drupal examples here. If I click here on this form fields template and then press generate code, now you'll see over here in the output area, Cato has generated all of this Drupal form code. So these are all the fields, again, from the node table, and it's created a form definition for each one of these. So if you're creating a Drupal module, uh, that's a whole bunch of pre-generated code for you. As a second Drupal example, if I choose this submit handler template and press generate code, Cato has now generated a submit handler function. It passes in the usual form state variable. I assign all the fields uh, from that variable there. I also put a little code in the template to get the user ID and populate a date time field. And the other thing I've done in this template file is I've created two different ways to do a SQL insert. Uh, first I do the old fashioned SQL insert and I pass that into a DB query function. And then second, I show how to do that using a uh, data array object and then the Drupal write record function. In a nutshell, that is the Cato CRUD generating tool. Uh, the only thing I haven't shown here is templates, and I will show that in a future video. Uh, so until then, this is Alvin Alexander with devdaily.com.